Hi, I'm Drew Devitt, Chairman and Founder of New Way Air Bearings, and today we're going to cover some air bearing basics. Air bearings are a part of the fluid film family group of bearings, and so they require some type of fluid to be the pressurized medium in the gap. This could be water, oil, or in the case of air bearings, air. This group is further subdivided into dynamic and static bearings. An example of a dynamic bearing would be hitting a puddle on the highway in your car and hydroplaning, losing contact with the road. An example of an aerodynamic bearing would be the hard disk drive head flying over the disk in your computer memory system. Aerostatic bearings require an external pressure source, so the air pressure actually is plumbed to them through a tube. The advantage here is that the fly height is not dependent on motion, so even at zero velocity, the fly height is the same as at 50 meters per second. Inside the category of aerostatic bearings, there are a number of different ways to control the flow of air into the air gap. Some air bearing manufacturers use orifices, some use step compensation, and here at New Way we concentrate on porous media compensation. This is an example of a new way porous media air bearing. You can see that this is a beautiful surface. It doesn't look like there's any features in it, but it actually has millions of submicron pores evenly distributed across the whole face of the bearing. So if we put this in water, you can see how it looks a little like a fancy fish bubbler, but you can see how evenly the air distributes out of the whole face of the bearing. So then this bearing still supports quite a load. Now, in contrast to porous media air bearings, we have orifice air bearings. So here's an example of an orifice air bearing. You can see there's three jeweled orifices connected by grooves. The problem here is if this bearing experiences a scratch like this one has, all the air can escape through the scratch, and then you don't generate any pressure under the face of the bearing. The porous media bearing, though, with its full face compensation, with pressure bleeding out of the whole face of the bearing, I can take a hacksaw. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. And I can score a deep groove with the hacksaw right in the middle of the bearing. And now oh, you can see this bearing is still carrying load. I can't ground it. And that's because air is still bleeding out of 95% of the surface area of the face of the bearing. The air is issuing from the whole surface, not just a few orifices. And that gives porous media air bearings a big advantage.